730 miles. That is not that many left. Hey everyone, so I am back on the trail and today is amazing. It is, you might be able to hear, it's a little breezy. But it's pretty warm and hot, the sun is out, but it is just really nice. It's not super humid um, and yeah, it's just, just beautiful. So I'm at Caleb's Knob, Caleb's Mountain, Caleb something. And as you can see, it's just beyond amazing right here at this little spot looking over the Housatonic River. And let's see. So just me right now. And I met up, or just as I was getting here, a couple of hikers left. Um, they've I've been passing them for a couple of days now. It's Puddin, then Delta, and I don't really remember the other two's names, but another really nice young crew that I've been around. Colton, well, so Trainer, AKA Colton, uh, who I slacked with yesterday, he stayed in a zeroing at home. So our other good friend we grew up, grew up with, Savage, he was in an earlier video kind of is getting sucked into the home life. So I think his mom didn't want him to get back out on trail and he's been having a good time at home. So trainers worried that Savage isn't gonna get back on trail. So he stayed to zero to talk some sense into Savage, uh, get him back out here so he can keep hiking with us. Um, hopefully it all works out and they both catch up to me in a couple days. And we'll be back cruising. The other big Cornell crew that I've been with is still about a day behind. And let's see, it's Wednesday, June 16th on Friday. Emily and the pup are uh, coming out for the weekend. And then I think I'm gonna keep Aurora for the week, which will be really cool having her out here. Um, so I'm all right being ahead of everyone because between coming out with the dog and before that Emily with a few days um, I don't want to get stressed about getting behind them so if I'm ahead then probably by the end of it I'll be back with them and it'll be cool but kind of relaxing nice to be on my own for a little while I love the being in the big group um, they're just so much fun and we have a blast all together but and you spend like all day with these people, which like I said, is great, but it's nice once in a while to change it up and kind of be in your own thoughts and hike on your own for a little while. So it's relaxing and enjoyable. You get to just camp where you want and stop where you want. Not for long periods of time, but for a little bit here and there, it's kind of nice. All right, I'm gonna sit here a little longer, then get to camp. Nice relaxing morning walk and we are following, you can see the Houstonic out there, Houstonic River. I've been paralleling it for most of yesterday. You know, sometimes we'll be up on the ridge, sometimes we'll be down the river, but 
kind of neat. It's a really pretty river. I also, I in general just love like river walks or trails that follow the stream up the mountain. I don't know why, I think it's fun. But uh, last night was a little chilly. Well, it wasn't cold, but it, it was nice. It was in the 40s, so I'll take it over those 80 degree nights any day. That's it, just a nice relaxing walk today. I'm solo again today, and we'll see where it brings me. All right, I'm at this creek crossing, and you can see the, it's a little, water's a little too high to walk across these rocks. It's pretty shallow, but I'm gonna have to ford. All right. Second ford on the AT. Ooh, water's a little chilly, but it feels kind of nice. All right, I just very easily and nicely made to the other side. I'm gonna stand in the water now for a minute or two because this cold water on my feet feels so good. This is a beautiful stream. I have my Tinkara rod now, but the whole area is covered in posted signs, and I don't have a Connecticut fishing license, so won't be fishing here. But it is gorgeous. Hey, buddy. What you doing? You're a big girl. Hiking up a hill here. You can see it's so pretty and clear. No leaves on the trees. Now, if you look close at this tree, they're just covered in these caterpillars. So I think they're just, they really just destroyed this whole area of these caterpillars. Just crazy, just Every leaf that is still on a tree has a caterpillar in it. It's a little spooky. It's pretty, but scary. This is really, get like chills looking at it. Spooky, I've been going through these forests. Just look, behind me there's no leaves. And the ones that are left aren't gonna be there for very long. It is just, every twig, branch, leaf, trunk is covered in whatever these caterpillars are. These little guys, truly wiped out this forest. Uh, maybe just have like a, after being out here for so long, some different appreciation for it, but it's just, really get chills. A lot of people ask one of the common questions, is there any crazy wildlife you see while hiking on the trail? And I never have a good answer for it. Now I do. They're small, but these little caterpillars are just 
insane. Really, every tree, every undergrowth, anything green, they just are demolishing. It is insane. Now, I need sunscreen. Let's go check how great those falls really are. Got my nice little setup here. There's my pack and some stuff. My phone charger. Sleeping right down on my ground cloth. And getting ready for bed. It's a little cooler tonight, probably in the 50s again. Another beautiful night. Not one, not five, not a hundred and fifty, fifteen hundred miles. <laughs> That's a lot of miles. And less than six hundred left. Six? Little over six, less than seven hundred left. Wow. Just got to Salisbury. Got this little scoon and a nice iced coffee. It is just such a cute little town here. It's very well cupped, very pretty. I'm just gonna hang out here until Emily, AKA the boss, and Aurora, AKA Siggy, gets here. Look who it is. Meeting in me and Salisbury. Emily and Aurora. Uh oh. Aurora. Hi. Hi, you. Hi, girly. Yay. <laughs> Mountain Laurel Mania. On top of Bear Mountain, not New York, Connecticut Bear Mountain. Nice and breezy. Hi! What's on the Look what we have here Massachusetts, <laughs> Connecticut. You were pretty quick, but really nice. Some tough climbs, some nice flat walks. Blew it out of the park here, Connecticut. Let's see what we have next in the Berkshires. Gotta make sure every drop is out of the tuna packet. And she's doing quite the job. <laughs> Nicely done, Bean. <laughs> so
so we are here just got the tent all set up we are a little wet the last like mile it started to rain and it's still raining a little bit now but what are you gonna do so they set up in the rain which was kind of annoying so everything's a little damp in the middle of a field and yeah we're like on the edge of a like a farm field but <gasps> it's working out and we got dinner cooking out inside of the tent right there so i think the rain sounds like it's just slowing down so we might go out stretch our legs in case it starts back up then i don't know today was really good it wasn't a lot of miles um i think 12 miles but it was hard um we had some tough climbs um that were also really rewarding it's our first First real climbs since Virginia. <laughs> yep. Aurora's cooked. <laughs> Out cold. <gasps> All right, we'll catch you in the morning. Good morning. We are back on the trail and going through these like wetlands, pines, and marshes. And the mosquitoes are just horrible. I've carried a head net for a thousand miles and it's the first time I've had to use it. So Emily's behind. We just put our raincoats on. Uh, we only have a mile. Ow, I just got bit in the leg. A mile and a half until. Emily gets picked up and then we're gonna go from there but gotta put my hand back in my sleeve because good thing it's not that often we have this <sighs> but it is nasty all right it is hot but a nice little breeze out here today that ridge out in the back is what I just walked the last two days with Emily it is over Bear Mountain Race Mountain and Everett and I am now here with Aurora. So Aurora here is out with me for the next week. So it is Sunday and Emily's coming back next Monday. So she is going to be a through hiker puppy for a little while. Um, I'm excited, she's excited. She's doing great so far. Emily just headed out like 10 minutes ago. And tonight, we have special magic. We are gonna stay with Aunt Rozzy and Uncle Alan, and I can't wait. We'll have a nice, we'll spend the night with them in Otis, which is right, we'll get off 10 miles from where we are now. So we hiked like two with Emily, maybe a mile so far, so we'll do like 10, no, like 13 total. And then this evening, we're gonna meet up with them. So excited, oh my gosh, it's gonna be nice. We'll get a nice bed, a nice another meal, some clean laundry, it's been a couple days, so, and, and it'll be great to see them. We're both excited. And that's it, right Aurora? Just taking a cool, quick break, and we're gonna keep on walking. She's such a good hiker pup, so we're gonna have a good time. All right, I am walking down the trail here with Aurora. And we found this gentleman. He seems to be lost. He was uh, running a 10K. You could see it on his shirt. In 1987, 1982. 1980, I've been out 39 years looking for the finish line. It's amazing. <laughs> We're gonna try to find it together. <laughs> I think I got turned around in Maine. I'm looking for New York, but it's disappeared with the George Washington finish line. So, yep. What can I say? <laughs> all right. I met this good looking guy over here. A little furry, but he's doing all right. We're going to try to finish it off together. Uh, all right. Yep. 